My name is Laura and I'm an urban farmer, which means I grow food on a formerly vacant lot here in Providence and sell it to my neighbors and to restaurants and make part of my living that way. Some other time, maybe if you happen to be on the west side strolling down Harrison Street and stop to admire the chickens, I'd love to lean over my fence and talk with you about the economics of my work, about teeny tiny entrepreneurship through cooperation, urban renewal one tomato plant at a time, about inflated property prices, absentee landlords, and the fear of having your garden bought out from under you, about the quiet food revolution that is growing in the forgotten corners of cities all over the world, including our city. But today, as you can see in the program, I'm here as a poet. So instead of talking economics, I'd like to let another voice speak, the voice of my greatest teacher. It's a voice I began hearing when I got into growing food in the city, but one that had been there all along. A voice easily lost in the cacophony of car horns and sirens, motorcycles, ice cream trucks, but muffled under the asphalt and hollering out from every weed-filled vacant lot, the city soil speaks. <laughs> Dandelion is my first word when the asphalt cracks. Dandelions is my first sentence. My next sentence is sumac, purslane, mullein, these so-called weeds, which are really my way of reminding you that I am here, under your crumbling city. I love a crumbling city. Each split in the sidewalk is my smile, finally open to sip the rain. This place was once a forest. I once lay naked beneath the trees. Vacant lots are not vacant. They are my bare midriff in the sun. They are my kneecaps peeping through the holes in these old concrete jeans. If my bare places make you gaze over your shoulder as you pass, it means you're being seduced. Go ahead, climb over the dilapidated fence. Begin to pick the litter out of my hair. Get your shovel. Oh, the treasures you will collect when you play archaeologist across my chest. Spark plugs, marbles, the foundations of a house. I am a storyteller. There are marvels in my mouth. Listen, the last kids who lived here left you 40 toy soldiers. Dig them up. Their dad liked Budweiser in a can. Their cat, Mikey, had a collar made of, had a tag made of tin. Imagine how much food you'll grow in their old living room. You want to dig deeper? You do. Well, this is more than a history lesson. It is a reenactment. That's right, white woman, with your packets of seeds. What you're doing is not new. It might look like wilderness, this vacant lot you've claimed and cleared, but pioneer is an old word, and yours are the newest crops of an old world. Every time you harvest, you should remember how you got here, who taught your parents, 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 parents how to speak my language, who turned the forest into a colony, who bought all this land from Canonicus and my antionomy. Your history is growing on every salad leaf, you should always remember your history when you eat. Oh, and I should warn you, before you eat anything, I am poisonous. Lead is my first word. My first sentence is arsenic, cyanide. For decades, I have opened my every mouth to whatever this city would feed me. That puddle under your car, I drank it. The gutters of your factories were a straw between my lips. If you want to grow food here, be prepared to eat your own poisons. I will feed them back to you. The heavy metals in my fruit will gather black in your womb, and your children will be born with the many armed curses of the folly of your parents. Unless you are cautious. When you wash, and twice wash, and three times wash your city-grown salad, it is a kind of penance. It is a kind of penance when you carry bags of leaves from your neighbor's lawns and spread them across me like bandages. When you shovel horse shit at the police stables while the cops smirk. 
when you are constantly carrying rancid table scraps in your backpack and hoarding other people's trash. Trash? I don't know the word. So much of what you call trash is just soil in a different shape. I will take your eggshells. I will take your cardboard boxes. I will take your newspapers full of corpses. I will take your corpses. Do you know how many bodies I have swallowed? There is soil under Gettysburg. There is soil under wounded knee. Body, I don't know the word. That body you call yours is just soil in a different shape. That body is a simple machine. It don't need gasoline. It runs on sun, so use it. Use it. Run it into the ground. Run it into the ground. I am the lover who will always take you back when you are nothing more than dead leaves and kitchen scraps. In the end, I will send a mint patch growing over you. The fragrance of mint will rise beneath, will erupt beneath the feet of your grandchildren when they visit your grave. Sunflowers taller than a terracotta army will be your monument. Until then, be a simple machine. Be hungry, strong, hungry, strong, hungry. I will feed you if you dig into me and build me good. If you ungag me, asphalt, ugh, I have long been silenced by parking lots. But if you plant carefully, Spinach will be my first word next spring. Peas, my first sentence. My next sentence will be tomatoes, raspberries, beets, beans. Eat, city, I will say. Eat. <laughs>